So in this Elden Ring video, I'll be explaining step by step how to meet and help Blyde the Half-Wolf, who's located in Mistwood Ruins. I recommend meeting this guy because he has a major quest line that we can do. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into all of this. Hope you find this enjoyable. First things first, in order to meet him, we're going to need the finger snap gesture. In order to get this, we'll need to head over to Mistwood Ruins, if we haven't, and listen for the howl. Once we've heard the howling from entering the area, we then just want to now head on over to the Church of Ella and talk to Merchant Kale about the howling. As you can see here, the option will be available. He'll know about the howl and will tell you to use the snap fingers gesture where we heard the howling. Keep in mind, you can also take the merchant down and you'll still unlock the finger snaps gesture. So don't worry if you've accidentally took him out or something. You'll still have this gesture available and it won't affect anything with helping Blyde the half wolf either. Anyways, once we got the snap fingers gesture, we'll need to return to Mistwood Ruins and use the gesture to signal him. You can actually see him howling if you look on top of the ruins. As you can see, he will drop right around where he's howling. Once we approach and talk to him, here's what he'll say. Who goes there? Kali sent you, did he? Never the bloody busybody. Hmm. Maybe to him you don't seem so strange. The name's Blythe. I'm looking for a man who goes by Darrow. He fled somewhere nearby. Or so I've heard. Come tell me if you find him before I do. I can offer you ample reward. So yeah, as you heard, he needs help hunting down Darwell and offers an ample reward if we're able to. Which this guy he's talking about is located right over here on the map. Not too far from Mistwood Ruins. Once over here, we'll need to go up and examine this glowing platform in the center. We'll then have the option to enter Evergill. Once in here, we can find Darwell and face off against him. However, before we go ahead and do that, we're actually able to summon Blyde the Half-Wolf during this fight to help us out, which is just incredible. This blew me away first time coming here and figuring this out. Like, I was so excited I could actually get him to fight alongside with me. I did not expect him to be able to help like this, but yeah, it's possible and he's definitely helpful for this boss fight. So first, be sure to summon him right here before the fight. Darwell. Nothing in this cell is no true justice. No. This is where it ends for you. And then go further out from the center to get Darwell to appear. Now, if for some reason you don't want the half wolf to help you during this fight, it is possible to do it without him. I mean, heck, you are able to come here and fight Darwell before even meeting Blythe whatsoever. However, you won't get the option to summon him like we can now because we spoke to him before this fight. Either way we decide to do this, we'll still get the same reward for taking this boss out, which are some runes and the Bloodhound's Fang. This weapon looks awesome and most importantly, it's a great sword overall to use as well. As you can see here are the stats of this curved great sword. It has good attack power stats for melee builds, pretty good guarded damage negation stats as well for the defensive side, and it has a passive effect of causing blood loss buildup, which is really useful for a fight. Keep in mind though, to be able to wield this monstrosity, you're going to need 18 strength and 17 dexterity. So yeah, we get this unique sword for taking on the boss. And like Blyde mentioned before, he'll also give us a reward for hunting this guy down. We can talk to him after the fight and here's what he'll give us and say. When we go to talk to him. Ah. <sighs> Right. There you are. Not to work for it, but it's done. Don't say I'm not a man of my word. Here's your prize. So yeah, as you can see, he gives us a somber smithing stone too, which this reinforces special armaments to plus two. And if we go to talk to him again, he'll actually tell us something pretty important. Check this out. Oh yes. I should say. If you venture north to Rhea Lucaria, and come across a venerable blacksmith who's a little on the large side. Tell him I sent you, and he'll be sure to treat you right. I owe you one, I reckon. So yeah, this next part, to know where to go, can be pretty tricky. But the giant that he's talking about is located way out here on the map. He'll be located over here, around the King's Realm Ruins. You're going to have to get it past the Stormvale Castle to get over here. So keep that in mind. 
But anyways, once you do get over here to the ruins, finding the giant can be kind of tricky if you don't know exactly where to go. As you can see, when you get over here in the ruins, you'll be attacked by a bunch of mages. And if you keep heading straight past them, you'll wind up at a dead end. And the giant is actually on the other side of this dead end. So a way to get over to him is just by simply going around by using your spectral steed. Once you're over here, before talking to the giant, be sure to also get the sight of grace too. But yeah, this is the giant Blyde was talking about. Definitely hidden way out here. And here's what he says when we first go to talk to him. Well, look at you. We don't receive many visitors. I presume you are uh, tarnished. What brings you here? Mentions how he doesn't get visitors much, which makes sense. I mean, he's literally way out here in the middle of freaking nowhere. Anyways, after he mentions that, if we go to talk to him again, he'll introduce himself. Check this out. Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? I am E.G. A blacksmith who once served the Karian royals. An old codger who refuses to retire his rusty hammer. So here I am, still quietly plying my trade on this spot. Perhaps you like a display? These bones are old, but still able. So yeah, he mentions that he is E.G. the blacksmith. As you can see, it states that he is a smithing master. And how we can talk to him about Blythe, we have to first go to the option, please take care. Once he's done talking after we say that, we'll then have to talk to him again by going down to the dialogue option, talk. Which I'm not going to let all of the dialogue play out over that option, but once we do choose that one, and he's done talking, this dialogue option will now pop up that we can say to him. As you can see, we could say Blythe sent me. So let's go ahead and say that to him. Blythe actually did that? Did he? Quite a rare occurrence for such a guarded soul as he. Perhaps he sensed something unusual about you. At any rate, if you're friendly with Blythe, I've something else that might suit you. So by doing that, we actually unlock a new item that we can purchase from his shop. And that is the Karian Filigreed Crest. And this thing is extremely useful. The item effect for it makes it so we don't have to use as much FP when we use our skills. So we can use more of our skills without having to use an FP potion to replenish. Yeah, this thing is very useful. Definitely recommend this, especially if your build uses a lot of FP. You can equip this by simply going to your equipment and going down to this category here. Yeah, this is how you equip the crest, in case you didn't know. And it's also good to know that this giant blacksmith will also upgrade your weapons too, if you just go to strength and ornaments below purchase. This guy is definitely useful. But yeah, there you guys have it. That's what happens if we help Blythe the Half-Wolf hunt Darwell. And keep in mind, helping him out against Darwell isn't the only quest that involves Blythe. There's actually a few other encounters with him at specific locations, but for now I just wanted to show you all how to first encounter him and what all happens and what we're supposed to do and how we're rewarded when we do help him out. Hopefully you all found this enjoyable and it was able to help you out in some kind of way. Consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like on this video. This took a while to put together. But yeah, as always, that's totally up to you if you want to take the time to support the video or not. I'm out of here though. Thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.